Hello, I'm Dr. Richard W. Fleming of the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery on Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills, California. We have done a series of podcasts on the cosmetic treatments of the face. Today we're going to talk about the chin and jawline, the underlying bony projection, and how these are all contributing to our standards of beauty. Mm. If one looks at Kim Kardashian, whom we all know, you see she's got a well-defined jaw that sets off an aesthetically pleasing neck from the facial features above that jawline. This jawline is something that we all lose with age. Uh, people come in for rejuvenation surgery, such as facelifts. Really what they are complaining about is they've lost this jawline and they have the relaxation and excess muscle, fat, and skin under their chins. So when you have a patient like this with a great jawline and excellent chin projection, it just sets the standard for beauty. If we look at this young lady who has a very, very weak chin, you look at how nondescript her jawline is, how her neck looks. All that was done with this patient was placing a chin implant. Now this girl is late teens and you see how this has improved her whole neckline, her jawline, her entire neck, her entire profile because the implant has established proportion and balance between the upper parts of her face, the jawline, and the neck. And what we're doing with the chin implant is a very straightforward procedure. We take a patient and this is the chin implant. It's a silastic material that really lasts a lifetime. We place it right on the chin and the implant extends onto the side of the jaw so that in fact we get a, maintain a nice contour from the front of the chin back onto the jawline. It's a very straightforward procedure. We do it frequently. Uh, it's a very common technique that we use. This young lady we did implants here in the cheeks and in other podcasts we've talked about the cheek implants and cheek contour. So this lady was flat throughout her cheeks. We placed cheek implants here. In addition, she had a weak chin, so we did in fact place a chin implant. The chin implants, the jaw implants are frequently combined with other procedures. This lady came in primarily for rhinoplasty surgery. So we did in fact reduce her nose, refine her nose, give her more definition in her nose with a rhinoplasty procedure. However, by placing a chin implant, it brings her whole profile into proportion. I could make this girl's nose look smaller by simply placing a chin implant because it will establish balance between the lower third of the face and the middle third of her face. Chin implants are also done as part of our facelift and facial rejuvenation procedures. With aging, people complain about their face. What they're complaining about primarily is the jowls, which is the accumulation here, and the excess under the chin. If we simply put in a chin implant, we improve the whole neckline, they want their jawline back. We get their neck contour back. Now this lady had a facelift as well as a chin implant. And as you see, she got her jawline back. She lost during the surgery all of this excess and sagging that had occurred secondary to the aging process. In younger people, they'll come in, they don't have a good jawline they don't have good chin projection. They don't need implants. The underlying bony structure is excellent. This young lady, we did liposuction. That's all we did on this young lady. To get rid of this excess fat here, the fat along the jawline and the lower part of her face above her jawline, and we can get back the contour and the neckline that she found uh, so desirable. There's many ways of approaching contouring of the jawline and chin. 
Uh, most of them are very straightforward procedures. Like I refer you to our website, which is www.bevhills.com. You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak.